Chronicles 16, carrying on a legacy. You've never read the Chronicles before. <clears throat> You've never read the Chronicles. Three years ago, he had decided he wanted to be a protector, and he had taken up the sword. Two years ago, he had realized he didn't even know what he was protecting. One year ago, the war ended, but through all the battles, he had found no answers. Yesterday, he lost something very important. He hadn't realized just how important it was to him until it was gone. And now, once again, he would take up his sword against the Empire of his own free will. I got I got mixed up there. My dyslexia kicked in. It's all good. Do you have dyslexia? No. Okay. But, you know, like, just, I think I've, like, read so many words today that everything's just word soup. Understandable. Do you think that if word soup really existed, it would be good? Yeah, they already have it. <clears throat> That's alphabet soup? No, it's There's like only it, three. What you do is you freeze alphabet soup and then you uh, eat it. Dude, we only get three for this mission. Do the do uh, John T. Hub, myself, Addison. I mean, it's got yeah, it's got to be Addison. And Who's then the I, third? I, I might mean, say Michael, sure. Right? Really? Yeah, it's a Michael sitch. I mean, Michael's the core. It's the core three. All right, all right. You got to take the core three. Oh, this is the first map. No, it's not. Is it not? I don't think so. I thought it was. It's way larger. Maybe it takes place in the same area. I don't know. It's a similar topography. Yeah. What you know about a similar topography? You know, I I actually studied in college. Really? Topography? Yeah. And what could you tell me about it? Grass and hills. Oh, like Green Hill Zone from uh From Sonic, yeah. From Sonic. Yeah, they actually they also, you know, Yuji Nakamura, who made Sonic, mm -hmm. uh, he studied topography. Is that true? No. Okay. But I, now I've gaslit you. You are the one who has been gaslit. No, no. I know. No. Yeah, this isn't making the recording. Why? Because you, because I, because I look bad on my own show. Are you for real? <laughs> no. Okay, I was gonna. And say. now I have gaslit. You, and, and now I have gaslit you. I'm tired of being gaslit. <laughs> and now I have gaslit you. Wait, wait, one more time. Do that. <laughs> oh my God! It's the kid from fucking Rugrats. It's the <laughs> or whatever Ooh, it's from. Yeah, I don't know the <laughs> kid. You know, from like old Nickelodeon. Decisive battle. <laughs> Don't 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 get away from the you know, topic here. You know the don't you can't decisive Chucky. battle your way out of this. You know uh, from the yeah. wild tornberries, bro, the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, blah, 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 yeah, yeah exactly. That was a bad that was a bad impression. I think both can qualify as Thunder bad impressions. Thunder <laughs> Yeah. First one we've done. I will Tatsumaki no more. Damn. Choked out by Grendal. <laughs> Not Grendal, bro. Not to be confused with a uh, modern folk anti-hero, Grendel. From 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 what? From Beowulf. Is that modern? I mean, it's modern <laughs> enough. I don't know about you, but the fuck isn't that a this, Shakespeare play or some shit? What the fuck is Beowulf? You ever? What do you mean? What the fuck is Beowulf? <laughs> Are you being for real? What the fuck is Beowulf? Are you gaslighting I know, me right now? I know. I heard the name, but what the fuck was that? It's a book. Wait, I need to. Hold on. Have you ever read Beowulf? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Tatsumaki. I, I wait. I thought I would Tatsumaki no more, but wait, I have that. Yeah, you got the fire, John. Holy shit! Through the fire, through the limit, to the wall. Did you? Can we get back on the Beowulf? Sure. Who the fuck is Beowulf? He's a. He's a. He's a. Uh, is he wolf? No, he's a. I mean, I don't want to use the term hero because it depends on the. Oh, like, he, yeah. He literary might be an anti-hero. Yeah. Uh, he was a, it was a folk, like, sort of legend. Yeah. Out of, um... <laughs> Yahoo! Where the fuck does Braveheart take place? Scotland, maybe? Yeah, it's like a, like a big story. Like Scottish like a, like a folk old... tale about Beowulf. Yeah, so, like, they went, on to, went over to this island, and he was, like, this big... He was, like, Guts from Berserk, essentially. Okay, he had and a big he, sword? Yeah, there were, like, some monsters, like, terrorizing people, and he just fucked shit up. Okay. But then later, like, in genuine recent history, like, probably, like, 20 years ago or so, I don't know, mm -hmm. um, someone took the story of Grendel, who's, like, the main villain of the Beowulf story, and sort of turned it on his head and had Beowulf be this very, like, tragic sort of character who's been mistreated for a lot of his life and stuff like that. Okay. And that, that story is actually, I think, more loved than the original Beowulf tale. Okay. I a like lot of that. the time, I think. A lot of people can like perceive Grendel as uh, this very important character in, in folk history, fable history. Mm -hmm. And that's who this level 16 character is right now. No, I just realized that Grendel, Grendel is the nation that we're fighting. Mm -hmm. You um, think that there's some sort of relation? You think they, they have some sort of... I do. Relation to one I another? I think it's actually purposeful. And it's uh, very symbolic. 
Okay. Shout out to the Soul Calibur team for being so literarily involved. Exactly, bro. What do you make of that one meme where it's like the English teacher says the curtains are blue because of the character's deep whatever, and then it's like literal translation, the curtains are actually just fucking blue? I think media literacy is at an all-time low. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think... Decisive uh, battle. I think that... I don't know. Like, yes, I think so. And I think that that meme might just be a signifier of that, you know? Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Wait, we've never been on this map here. Um, No, we haven't. I don't think. This shit looks brand new. You download DLC while I've been going? <laughs> yeah, I got I got the Soul Calibur 3 DLC. You got that DLC. You pay 10 bucks for that, John? Mm -hmm. They gave you two weapon skins and a fucking if, extra character? If they, Genuinely, if they told me that there's a Soul Calibur 3 DLC that I can get right now that... Um, adds like ten new chronicles to this shit. I would, oh I would a thousand He's addicted. percent. Even if it was like five, I would be like, yes. I, uh, I mean, that's a take. I, hey, man, more power to you. I love me some Chronicles of the Sword. I know, I know. This is like your favorite game ever. Um, you, you ever like, you ever have a game that you really, really, really like, but you would feel. You would feel almost bad to put it in like your top 10 because it's like this is not a good game by any metric. No. That's this game for me. That's fine. I think uh, presentation wise, this game is really nice. I think this game has a plethora of game modes. I think this is the fighting game that has like the most single player content, which okay. is very good for the exact type of gamer I am. I will. I like solo modes in in fighting games. I don't disagree with that. I, I think I think it's important to have, especially for longevity purposes. Longevity. Yeah. Untouchable, untouchable. Mm -hmm. Um, and my you know, like I think about like uh what do they call it? The crypt for Mortal Kombat Nine. Mm -hmm. You know, that shit was repetitive. Right. And so it was like everything after in the in the Nether Realm Studios title. Shout out Nether Realm Studios. Hey, I, Nether love, Realm Studios. I love your fighting games. We'd love to have you on the show. Ed Boone, if you see this Please, that would be a blast. What is he? Is he the like the? He is, head um, of I think the main game director or producer for um all the NetherRealm Studios games. He might be CEO, frankly, but we will find out exactly what you do when you come on the show. We promise we'll do a little bit of research. Exactly. If I had my phone on me, I would look it up now, but mm -hmm. I don't. So it's gonna be Wait, it's an organic episode. I'm out here unlocking new abilities and shit, bro. You're doing awesome. This is your training arc. It's showing off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hit the old butterball? Nope. Butterbean? Nope. What was it called? Butter Butterbean butter combo? Butterbean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you title an after episode after it? Was I probably like did. Yeah, I got you. Hold gotcha. on. Gotcha. Butterbean combo. That wasn't the butterbean. Oh, wait, this is the butterbean. Oh, what the fuck? Butterbean combo. Yeah, that's the old butterbean. Tattoo monkey. Nice, dude. Spinning lotus. Spinning... <laughs> Thunderstrike Jutsu. We but, can go on and on. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. 60 We wins. know many words. We, <laughs> we're English people. Yep. But we're not, we're not English, but no, we're... No, we're not English. We're English speakers. Yeah. Real English speakers, if you yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, none of that fake shit, for mm -hmm. real. What, what would you consider that fake shit? Uh, whatever those... <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> traditional English. From, Pardon? <laughs> from, like, the UK... And stuff like that. <laughs> you want to cut this real quick? I was going to say whatever those fuckers speak across the river is what I was going to say. <laughs> I but like I, that though. I, I wasn't sure if that would fly. <laughs> <laughs> I think you pausing made it worse, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. You got your work cut out for you tonight. This is going to be a editing spree. Yeah. No, what the fuck, dude? You just—that's a pretty sick move. If someone did that to me IRL, I would probably just dude. That was some WWE fighting. shit. Yeah. If there was one move that someone performed on you in a fight, uh, this is a dumb. I think if I was in a street fight and someone speared me, I'd probably just give up. 
Like for, like Edge from WWE. I think if someone just fucking Edge speared me into a brick wall, I'd probably just I'd probably just throw in the towel there. <laughs> if someone edged my spear, I'd probably be out of commission for God, at least six it. months. Or if someone like genuinely RKO'd me, like I'd probably be done. That'd be pretty wild. Yeah. What if they RKO'd you, you into a pool though? Would that be okay? No, I I fucking drown. <laughs> I wouldn't be ready for that shit. Why would you drown? Dude, can you imagine if someone just walked up to you at like a pool party and someone just like stone cold Steve Austin stunned you? And you just I'd be a little upset by ricocheted that. Ricocheted yeah. into a like a 10 feet deep pool. I'd be a little upset by that, yeah. Yeah, I'd be more than a little upset. <laughs> just a little upset. Be calling be. fucking Saul Goodman for an injury lawsuit. I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? Speaking of, I know we talked about this uh, at this point a month and a half ago on the show. Okay. On the show. On the recording. Mm -hmm. Um, But... As I've Discord messaged you, I've been watching it feverishly. It's a very good show. You've been watching it a lot, you mean? Yeah, I'm two and a half seasons in. Okay. So, um, okay. very much enjoying it. Good wreck. Oh, I gotta win this fight. Yeah, you do. Like many like many battles in life, you have to win this one. Tatsumaki! See, you know what my problem is? is uh, like, John T.O.'s problem is he doesn't have a lot of ring out moves. No, he doesn't. You can't really, like, sweep the leg. No, he can he can fucking kick you into high hell, but and fart on you, but not yeah. much else. Nice. He can also like like he can juggle pretty well, but you have to time it well. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say knock you up. A lot but... of the a lot of the moves have a pretty like slow recovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's a he's a speedster. <laughs> Come on. Nice. Oh my god. Golden boy. The long range move. I didn't I didn't know if I could trust that one, but you know. You did well. I did well. And I could and I didn't even have to get to, to Michael, bro. Yeah, now you saved uh, you saved your third your third character. They didn't they didn't get me down to my to my only Michael. Only Michael. Mm-hmm. You know what they say when you're only Michael? What's that? Uh sometimes if you're only Michael, you might just be Michael all by yourself in the bathroom at a party. Oh, in the back rooms? No, no, <laughs> no, not in the back rooms. Yeah, guys, I found the back rooms in Soul Calibur Three. Dude, s sus. Kind of sus, man. Kind of sus. <laughs> they led to Ohio. Dude, that's so skibbity Riz. <laughs> Dude, they should add the Phantom. They should add a Phantom Tax. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Phantom Tax. Phantom Tax. What is that? You don't know Phantom Tax? No. They should have a skibbity toilet class to Soul Calibur 3. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I've seen enough of those. It's like, um, well, we've, we've brought it up. It's funny as shit. I like, the, I like all these uh, very incomprehensible memes. Incomprehensible no, Gen A memes. The, they are Gen A memes. Do you know Rhett and Link? Yeah, I'm well aware. Good Mythical Morning. Um, yeah. They, I mean, I knew them as Rhett and Link because uh, I used to watch their old uh, stuff when they did like music videos and and stuff. They did like Smosh esque content, right? Um, I think that the humor was a little bit more for older ages. Mm, okay. You know, I, I I think they were good with like a teen audience, whereas Smosh was like, I fucking loved to Smosh when I was like nine years old. You know. Okay, that that's OG fair. Smosh stuff. You know, Brandon Link did the. Uh, yes, I am a nerd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mugworm, I'm studious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, you know the one. Yeah, I know. Anyways, why are you bringing up Good Mythical Morning? I'm no, I'm no rocket scientist. Oh wait, I am. <laughs> Do you uh, have any point you want to make about GMM? <laughs> no, that was that was it. Oh. Uh, no, no, there. there someone. I I wish I knew the channel name. I'll I'll put the channel. I'll link it in the in the description of this video. Um, there was a podcast that uh, this guy had Rhett on, and and he showed him Skibbity Toilet to get his take on it. Okay. And I thought it was it was very cool and interesting, and I I liked the what I liked most about it is Rhett was like trying in earnest to wrap his head around it and what made it appealing, and I I appreciated that. Now, was he what? Yeah, did, did this podcast host just ask him because he's like, you know, Rhett's like a fucking dad and like old. Yeah, like he, like he's he's been on YouTube since like the beginning of, you know, the platform really, and he's seen you know trends happen and things evolve yeah. and you know even like you know what's what's popular evolve the humor evolve and stuff like that and he just wanted to get his take on like the cutting edge the cuttingest edge stuff. I think it's really interesting how we have gone in a circle. 
on YouTube where, you know, these, uh, what, what are they called? SFMs? Is that what it's called? Source Filmmaker. Yeah, it's like Gmod Animation. Yeah, like Source Filmmaker, yeah. Those used to be popular in 2010. And YouTube yeah. poops used to be popular in 2009, and now they're they're back. Well, you know what's interesting is the guy, and I learned this from the podcast, and like I I knew the guy, I didn't know who actually made Skibbity Toilet, but it was this guy named like the the fuck D A F U Q Boom. <laughs> okay. Uh, like do you remember like the fuck like the one like yeah. Rage Comic? Me- yeah. So that's that's the channel name, and this dude has been around since like around that time, since probably like wow, 2010, 2011, really? and Skibbity Toilet was just like a random thing that he made that just like. You know, it accelerated to crazy proportions. Like it now, just got insanely popular. Did it just like blow up one day? Like he had already had it made, or maybe he just made it out yeah, of happenstance. I think, I think he just made it, and then it blew on. up. Like, and then he started making more and everything. Like it just. But he was already very successful on his channel before that. Like he already had like a couple million subscribers. Gotcha. But maybe it was like dying out a little bit. Uh, no, I would. Yep. Yeah, I mean, probably relative Damn. to like you know the heyday of like those animations or whatever the Gmod animations. Um, but no, it's uh, it's very cool. It's very interesting. That is interesting. I was never a big fan of those F- SFMs or Gmod shit or whatever. Like I, I was, remember everyone was going crazy over fucking Shrek is love, Shrek is life. I never thought it was. It, uh, it's all right. You know. I, I always. I always watched myself around the folks that were, you know, a little too into that shit. I hear you. <laughs> I hear that. Shout out band kids. Shout out. Word, bro. Band kids were like, and like, I'm band kid adjacent. I'm theater kid, band kid adjacent. Yeah. Well, I you was are definitely, theater kid. I, no, I didn't do any theater in. in did you not? I did uh, acapella, which is like a, okay, but, qu- a choir adjacent closest to, basically. But, but band and, and music, theater yeah, kid music, adjacent. Some musical shit, you know? Yeah. Some creative musical shit. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, uh, I, I feel like, you know, their their stuff is synonymous with, like, Reddit stuff, you know? Like, band kid stuff no, is 100%. synonymous with, like, yeah, with, like, just Reddit, whatever's popular on Reddit. It's um, it's interesting. I was never a band kid, and I didn't really have friends that were like band kids. Mm-hmm. So, um, I had was, a couple band kid friends. It was uh, it was always interesting sort of seeing them interact. Not like, don't get me wrong, I wasn't fucking popular by any means, mm-hmm. but also I wasn't like, <laughs> you know, the biggest. Like, I wasn't some big memer in uh, in oh, uh, man. In Wait, I gotta win this. Ages. I gotta win this. Yeah, you do. Oh, I'm sitting up. I'm sitting up, and I'm worried, and I'm sitting up. I think you might have lost. No, okay. Hey, man. My bad. Mind your own. My, I'm <laughs> minding my own. You better. Nice. Pop off. I'm so glad I got the fucking big cloud sword, dude. <sighs> so you got that extended reach, man. Yeah, Come on, yeah. that's not a ring out. Come on, that's not a ring out. No, you need to juggle her. Super no, that feet. should that should that move works usually. Really? Yeah, that move works. Maybe she has magnet feet. Maybe. You know, she looks like she's wearing some magnet shoes right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> <Very possibly. laughs> Y'all can hear the magnets, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? They're in overtime right now. Stop, dude. Come on. Don't. I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose this. It I don't want to lose this. It would be mildly inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh my you god! Caught her Fucking perfectly. silence in the studio. I know, while I... Right? We had to. We had to go quiet for that. <gasps> oh, guys, that was not edited. We were that quiet. Was qu- quiet as a church mouse. You know. Yeah. Qu- quiet. <sighs> quiet. Quiet, quiet. Quiet as quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5. <laughs> the fa- Do you ever play that? I didn't play 5, interestingly enough. Really? I. It's always been on the list. It's always been a game that I wanted to play. I just never got around to it. I just... It it had the vibe of uh, a game that would take a lot of time to really appreciate. You are correct. Or not you appreciate, are, but... Like, very correct. To give it the respect and time it deserves, I would have to play a lot of it. You 100%. Yeah, same as like a Skyrim or a... Uh, the Witcher or whatever. I played. Um, I played both of those, but a little different in that regard. But yeah, you're you're on the right track. It's it's just like a slow slow burn, slow I, cook. It's almost like Monster Hunter esque, where you have to like grind to get materials to upgrade to eventually like continue the story. Okay, it's weird. All guard break. Uh, uh, maybe I leave someone behind. Yeah, that might be the best. But then, 
Look, you just gotta play it slow. All right, yeah, I'll play. I'll play it a little slow. I'll just take. I want Addison to be. Well, I could back somebody up as soon as I, because it's gonna take a minute to like breach the, uh, breach the thingy anyway. So, you gotta be mindful. Be careful, John. I'll be care. I'm always careful, man. Is that your middle name? My no, because I'm John T Hub. That's true. I'm and I'm t and you know why? Because I'm tactful. Mm, okay, that works. It works. That works. It checks that out. works. Fuck you. It checks out. What? I yeah yeah you, you yeah. the fuck you yeah. yeah 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 yeah. So, uh, erm, yeah. I haven't upgraded our uh, game list yet. I, I uh, updated super it? deeply. Wait, you you updated it? No, I haven't. Oh, I haven't either. I haven't, I haven't really know. touched it since I made it. Like, I, we I made like it. We added our first wave of things. But we haven't gotten to, like, any of the games that we put on the list. The so, issue like, is that you put a lot of games that I agree with. But that's that's not an issue for me. Well, I, I recognize that. But I'm just saying, you know? It's you know like, what? Now, then we, you were like, where's your ideas? And I'm like... Should we, should we sit John T-Hub out or should we sit Michael out? Sit, sit John out. Very well. Because he can't bring out. So hopefully the goal is that you can bring this person out. And then make it a little it, bit easier. It. That's what I'm hoping. Well, so the thing is, oh, okay, okay, no, I see what you mean. But yeah, if I if I lose this battle, I basically have to restart it from from the beginning because whatever. Because like he'll regen in the stronghold before I can like get through it with an extra. The guy. goal then is if you, if you get close but you lose, you know you have to use all three next time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like give it, you know, we wait a little bit for that. Whatever, big wall. We can, you know, fast forward. Um, right. But if you if you don't, if you throw everyone in now and you lose, then we're fucked and we got to restart from the beginning. And I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's that's a long time. This is actually my least favorite Chronicle. I was going to say, like this one's kind of boring. Decisive yeah, battle. This, this one's boring. The map is like huge. The distance between the different things and everything. Yeah, I don't and really before, like it. And before I knew about upgrading to level three, I would die and then be at the fucking bottom left again. I have to go, Ugh, you know? That's so annoying. So it's a little cringe. There's a there's an impossible fight with Zosalamel, who's like a level 60 hero or whatever. I've been avoiding those guys, but. Yeah, well, for the, for, for the better. Yeah. There we go. Can you snag him? I'm trying, man. Oh my god. I... What? No shot. Really? No shot, right? He's just spamming. He's not even... There's no thought behind those actions. <laughs> and he's using that move! Oh, no way he dang. fucking ducks that, man. Come on. Dangerous ass move. Let's end this! Nice. Get him! No fucking way. He just suplexed your ass. Dude, with the jump attack? With the jump? That was silly. That's okay. That's okay. He gets XP, though, for, for losing. Yeah, that's what matters. Can I show you a little bit of an exploit in this game? Uh, If you want to skip this fight. and I won't pull it out too much, but this is what you can do in this game. Is it that? They, like, they don't respond to this in any sort of way, and it just works. It just works. It ju basically, it just works. I'm going to avoid using that, guys. That's the only time I'm going to use that. Look, if that's an annoying fight, more power to you. It's in the game. But I don't want to... And you can actually can't use it in the last couple fights for a reason that you'll see. Um, Is it because they have, like, like, guard overhead or something like that? They Yeah, they have something that prevents you, basically, from spamming them. Interesting. And 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 we'll all see what it is. Yeah, we're on 17 now, aren't we? I think we're now on 17, which means we got four left. This 17, is take 18, 19, 20. I thought there was only 18. No, no, you. That's the number you made up the last time. Oh, is it? <laughs> and I still believe it's the full amount. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was unaware. I thought it was. Uh, I thought there were only. Well, whatever. But it's but it's all good. And R Rudy toot toot. See you next time. <laughs> Rudy toot toot, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Go. Quick little gamer kiss. You and your gamer kisses, dude. What's that about? Where's mine? Mm. Aw, thanks.